This smartwatch has a 28,000-year battery life. Elon Musk's game-changing battery day is now a reality. Prepare to be amazed by today's technological leap forward. Batteries. Can you imagine life without them? Scientists worldwide are constantly working to create better batteries. This race has always been fierce, with companies like Tesla and others competing for the top spot, while Elon Musk teases about a future battery day. Picture a future where your phone's battery lasts for days, weeks, or even longer without needing a recharge. This could become a reality with the introduction of nuclear diamond batteries, which could revolutionize the way we use energy. But is this really possible and how will it benefit us? Let's explore the groundbreaking nuclear diamond battery that could change everything. Nuclear waste, the radioactive leftovers from nuclear power plants, is dangerous and takes thousands of years to break down. It's no wonder people don't want it stored or transported near their homes. However, innovators at the San Francisco-based Nano Diamond Battery, NDB, have developed a powerful diamond-based battery that could change how we use energy. They say this battery has an incredible lifespan of 28,000 years, making it ideal for electric cars and even smartphones. The makers of the battery say it's safe since it gives off less radiation than a human. Imagine using just one battery for your insulin pump or pacemaker for your whole life. It could even power a rover on Mars to gather soil samples for decades without human help. Can NDB's bold claims really become a reality? Let's take a closer look. NDB uses layers of tiny paneled nano diamonds to build its unique battery. Electronic devices benefit from diamonds' excellent heat conductivity. A University of Houston study shows that diamonds are the best natural heat conductors, three to four times more efficient than copper or silver. Scientists use a process called chemical vapor deposition to make these microscopic diamonds. This involves high temperature gases causing carbon to crystallize on a material. NDB says this method is costly because making these special diamonds requires a lot of energy and money. Boron-doped diamonds offer a solution. This method creates blue diamonds with better conductivity than regular diamonds. While natural blue diamonds exist, they're much rarer and pricier than synthetic ones due to the small amounts of boron in their carbon structure. The diamonds in NDB's batteries have a beautiful blue color. Although they're synthetic, they look like natural blue diamonds, some of the rarest gems on Earth. These diamonds form deep within Earth's lower mantle, between 410 and 1680 miles below the surface. A study from August 2018 in Nature reveals that only three diamond mines globally produce blue diamonds, which explains their high cost. For example, a 0.3 carat dark blue diamond costs $15,700, and a 0.25 carat light blue diamond costs $75,000. NDB combines nano diamonds with radioactive isotopes from nuclear waste, such as uranium and plutonium, likely obtained from nuclear power plants. These diamonds are so efficient at transferring heat from decaying isotopes that they generate electricity. The energy from the decay is deposited onto an NDB transducer, which converts it to electrical energy. NDB's CEO, Neeg Sharifi, says the company plans to create batteries in various standard and unique sizes like AA, 18650, and 2170. The batteries will have stacked diamond layers, a small circuit board, and a supercapacitor for collecting, storing, and releasing energy. Longevity is the aim with these batteries. NDB estimates that a battery could last 28,000 years in a low-power application like a satellite sensor and 90 years as a car battery, much longer than a single vehicle's lifespan. One battery might even power multiple vehicles. NDB also believes these batteries could benefit spacecraft needing long-term unassisted operation, like satellites. This 28,000 years lifespan claim is based on low-power space applications. NASA's Voyager space mission, launched in September 1977, used three multi-hundred-watt radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, to power its instruments for studying the outer solar system, starting at 158 watts. Each generator's output is less than the energy needed to power a household light for a year. However, these diamond battery cells can still power devices with higher energy demands, like LED screens on tablets and phones when combined in large numbers. So what's the catch with these diamond batteries that use nuclear waste, last for centuries, and only need tiny diamond layers? Well, things are a bit more complicated. First, since each battery cell provides limited power, scientists need to combine many of them to power larger devices regularly, which increases the cost and complexity. 
Also, there's the issue of degradation. Injecting radioactive waste into diamond cells creates structural defects that will eventually collapse in some cells over time. A few nano diamond batteries might malfunction or be thrown away when they become available in future devices. Nevertheless, the diamond battery is still a remarkable achievement. Devices like hearing aids and pacemakers could benefit from this technology if these challenges are addressed. For instance, young children with hearing aids or elderly people with pacemakers wouldn't have to undergo surgery multiple times. And think about its application in smartphones. It could recharge your battery from zero to full five times an hour with the same size battery. How convenient would that be? NDB's first commercial product, a smartwatch, is set to launch this year. A watch powered by a single battery that could last for generations without needing a replacement seems like a valuable treasure and a potential family heirloom. Why not stick with the gold standard, lithium-ion batteries? You're likely using a device powered by one right now. They're crucial for electric vehicles and energy storage systems, and they've largely replaced lead-acid batteries in demanding applications. However, lithium-ion batteries have some drawbacks that hinder progress. They're less durable than other rechargeable options and need protection from overcharging and excessive discharge. They also require safety circuits to operate within safe limits, adding weight, cost, and complexity. Furthermore, they're susceptible to aging, with capacity diminishing after 500 to 1,000 charge-discharge cycles, eventually needing replacement. Additionally, transporting lithium-ion batteries is a challenge. Airlines impose restrictions, and travelers must carry them in carry-on luggage, with separate batteries needing short-circuit protection. These rules are especially important for larger batteries, like those in high-capacity power bank. A significant issue with lithium-ion batteries is their cost, especially in electric vehicles, EVs. About one-third of an EV's price comes from its battery, making them pricier than traditional internal combustion engine vehicles. Moreover, lithium-ion batteries have usage constraints and don't perform well in extreme temperatures. This is where diamond batteries come in, with companies like California-based NDB developing nuclear diamond batteries that can last a very long time. These batteries use nuclear waste encased in artificial diamonds, making them low-carbon power sources for various applications. The concept, first introduced by the University of Bristol, involves synthetic diamonds generating a small electric current when exposed to radioactive fields. This creates a self-charging battery. Nuclear diamond batteries also help clean up nuclear waste, as they can repurpose carbon-14 found in older nuclear power plants. Arc and Light, a spin-off company, aims to commercialize the diamond battery concept. Using nuclear waste in this way is more beneficial than deep underground storage. The diamond battery, which functions as a beta voltaic, is not dangerous to human health. The multi-layer structure prevents radiation leakage, making it safe for various applications. Nuclear diamond batteries, like those being developed by NDB and Arc and Light, have potential applications in heavy-duty devices like electric vehicles and smaller devices such as sensors and medical implants. Their durability makes them suitable for use in extreme conditions, like monitoring active volcanoes or powering satellites and spacecraft for extended periods. The diamond batteries have a higher energy density compared to lithium-ion batteries, allowing them to store more energy in a smaller space. This could lead to the creation of smaller, more powerful devices and further technological innovation. Arkenlight plans to set up a factory at a decommissioned nuclear power plant in England or North Wales for easy access to carbon-14 isotopes. If successful, carbon-14 batteries could appear in devices as early as 2024. Isn't it clear that Elon Musk and Tesla have a strategy for this revolution? Indeed they do. Tesla and Elon Musk are determined to transform the driving experience while reaping substantial profits by creating vehicles with impressive ranges of 400, 500 miles or more. Advanced, larger batteries will charge rapidly, providing up to 300 miles of range in as little as 10 minutes, comparable to the time needed for refueling conventional cars. This progress is in perfect harmony with the vision of nuclear diamond batteries. Better, cheaper, and more efficient batteries are essential for decarbonizing the economy. NDB's technology could offer low-cost, long-lasting energy for gadgets, vehicles, and satellites. The company expects their batteries to be competitively priced compared to current options, and potentially even cheaper when produced at scale. Additionally, nuclear waste owners might pay NDB to take the hazardous material off their hands, turning one company's waste into another's treasure. On the other hand, NDB remains secretive about the details of their nano-diamond battery, 
including its power density. Furthermore, there are no video demonstrations of the technology at the moment. NDB's upcoming smartwatch will reveal much about the feasibility and potential applications of this radioactive diamond battery technology. Until then, we'll have to be patient. What are your thoughts on the new nuclear diamond battery? Do you think it has the potential to be a game changer? We'd love to hear your opinions in the comments section below.